Hi students, in this video we are going to learn exercise number 4.2, question number 4, our first problem. 10p is equal to 100. We are going to solve the equation. So we need to solve for the variable. So 10p, that means 10 multiplied by p. There is no symbol in between a number and variable means we have to take the multiplication sign. So the multiplication number, if we take into other side, that will become division definitely. So p is equal to 100 by 10. So 0, 0 will get cancelled. So p is equal to 10 by 1 will be 10 only. Denominator 1 you no need to carry. Let's look at the next problem, b problem. 10p plus 10 is equal to 100. We here also we are going to find the value for p only. But first we have to remove this 10 to that side. This is a plus 10. If it is an addition, if you take to other side, it will become a minus. So it will be 10p is equal to 100 minus 10 it will become now. So 100 minus 10 will give you 90. Now 10p is equal to 90 we are getting. Again in between for 10 and p there is no sign that means multiplication. So the multiplication 10 if we take it into other side that will become division. So p is equal to 90 by 10. 0, 0 will get cancelled. Denominator 1 we can leave it. So p is equal to 9 is your correct answer. We will move on to the next problem now. Here p by 4 is equal to 5 is our question. Here 4 is in the denominator that means division. Division 4 if you take it into other side definitely it will become multiplication. So 5 multiple by 4 it will be. So p is equal to 5 4 is 20 that is your correct answer. Let us do one more problem now. Here minus p is given. So again 3 is in the denominator that is in division. Take it into other side that will become multiplication. So 5 into 3. So minus p is equal to 15 we are getting but variable value I want in positive plus p we want to get. So minus p value plus 15 means plus p value will become minus 15 definitely. We are changing the sign for both the side. Here the minus p we are making into plus definitely this plus number will become minus. So p value minus 15 is your correct answer. Look at one more problem. Here this 4 is in the denominator that will go for multiplication. Again this 3 in the numerator that is in multiplication. Either taking 1 by 1 directly also we can take it. This is a 3 by 4 is a number that is a fractional number that is given in multiplication with the p. 3 by 4 is a fractional number that is given in multiplication with the p. There is no sign means multiplication. So children whenever you are getting a fractional number in multiplication. If you take it into other side that will become reciprocal. Directly we can write it p is equal to 6 multiple by 4 by 3. 3 by 4 will become 4 by 3 now. 3 table we can count. This is 6 by 1 only. 1 3 is a 2 3 is a 6 we can write it. Whenever we are getting no denominator that should be written with 1 only. So 2 4 is a 8 is your correct answer. Denominator 1 no need to consider you can leave that because all the numbers are having denominator 1 only. So P is equal to 8 is your correct answer. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel for more videos.